Hi, my name is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to go over with you the Math Lessons for Learning and Education Level 2 for Master 6. Okay, so I have the Math Lessons for Learning and Education Level 2 for Master's books. I'm going to flip through it with you so that you can see if it will be a good fit for your family. So before we take a look inside, I do want to note that this book is all that you will need for the course. All of your teacher information is in the back of the book, and it gives you a list of um, manipulatives that you can typically find around the house, so you do not need to buy a big box of manipulatives for the course. Okay, so let's dive into Math Lessons for a Living Education Level 2 from Master's Books. Here is the scope and sequence and it takes you through 36 lessons. So you'll be doing approximately 30 minutes per lesson, five days a week for 36 weeks. There are also worksheets and quizzes included throughout the course and answer key for the worksheets um, are at mastersbooks.com. There is also information in the back for the teacher. Here is the area where it gives you a list for the manipulatives that you'd want to gather for the course. However, I found that I had most of this stuff already in my house. Then it gives you um, an area that you can track your assignments and lessons for the year, as well as grading. And then I'll just show you here lesson one. You're going to go through and read a story about these two kids throughout the book. It has a Charlotte Mason flair to it, so there is a little bit more in the book other than just reading math. There is some copy work and some dictation and story reading, so that it starts the lesson. And then you're going to get into your first exercise for day one, which was two pages, and then day two, two pages as well, and day three, four, and five. So your work for the day is these, this one page, front and back. Now this is just the first week, so it's pretty basic, um, and we'll get into a little bit more work later on. So let's go into another lesson, kind of in the middle of the book. Here is lesson 16, where they're learning about carrying to the tens place. They have a fun, interactive way to teach the concept of place value which I'm excited to do this year. So this would make more sense if you um, are reading the book. Let's go find another. Here are, is another area where you'll be doing some reading for this fifth day. And then they also have activities like following a recipe, see if I can find that. When you're learning about measurements, they have a couple different recipes to follow, so there are some fun hands-on activities to reinforce some of the concepts. I just liked how this was a very gentle approach and practical and didn't have a lot of extra busy work for the lessons. Let's go to the last lesson. And this does say it is grade two, level two, if you're wondering about where it sort of places the child. However, they do have a assessment on their website that you can take. So they're um, spending the last few lessons in review of the concepts. I think up until lesson 
30 is the new concept. So you can do, there's just fun games like this that are just really approachable and fun for the kids, but still reinforce concepts. Let's go in the back where it'll give you all your teacher material. So there are these houses that they use for place value that you'll cut out and make little place value containers to introduce that concept. And you can use um, kidney beans or little buttons for that. And then a lot of these things you can tear out and then laminate so they can write on for when they're practicing different things. Their hundreds chart. There is these addition and subtraction mats where they can practice their ones and tens and adding and subtracting. Again, laminating these so that they can write on them. Fact sheets. Just practice sheets where they can write. And they also have this idea of right brain flashcards. So you do not get flashcards with this course. However, you can make your own and they give you an idea of how to do it um, in a fun way with the children that might benefit from this. There are flashcards you can purchase on the website for about $10 that um, take you through just this course, but not further. There's also a copy master calendar that you can utilize through the course. So I hope that helps. I hope that gives you a better idea of what you will find in this course and that the information was helpful for you. I wish you all the best on your next school year.